Hello guys and welcome to the 15th episode in my Terraria series. Um, yeah, today we're going to continue our adventure. There are many things that need to be done, territories that need to be explored. Uh, in the previous episode we went to the underworld or hell, uh, which is at the bottom of the map, and we got the items required to fight the Wall of Flesh, the boss that will trigger hard mode or hardcore mode. No, pretty sure it's hard mode which will cause uh, another biome to spawn, plus the corruption can spread. So I guess we'll want to postpone that a bit and make sure we complete the other things that can be done um, in the game before that. So, one of those things is of course going to the dungeon and uh, fighting Skeletron. Shit, there was something else I wanted to do as well, but I've completely forgotten what that was all about. So I guess we're going to find Skeletron. If you're wondering why there's a big hole here, I should probably probably fix that is that I've been experimenting a bit off camera trying to uh, uh, you know do some experiments when it comes to changing biomes because I'm getting kind of sick and tired of this uh, green background there's like I'm having this like epic tower of darkness and evil and in the background there's these like happy green trees uh, it sort of breaks the mood don't you think uh, so the idea was basically I wondered if there was a way to fix this. Uh, I've not been able to figure it out though. It seems like like you can get different backgrounds in Terraria, but uh, that is generated when you generate the world. So you can have like really cool backgrounds with like huge mountains and stuff like that. That would definitely fit much more um, with this base here, but I don't think you can change them once the world is generated. So I would have to start over if I want to change that. So what I was doing in this hole is uh, I was filling it up with snow to spawn a snow biome so I can get the snow background, which if not perfect would fit a lot better. The only problem with that is that the snow biome uh, has that snow that falls all the time. And annoyingly, as I mentioned in the entire beginning of this episode, while I really like the snow biomes, they have that snow that constantly falls and that falls through the roof of buildings. So if I was to turn this whole place into a snow biome, which is not actually that difficult, you just need to place 600, no, 300 snow blocks down. Fuck's sake, blood moon. Oh well. I guess we can do some underground exploration. Oh yeah, that's right. Who are you? Corrupted bunny? Kill it with fire, they say. Anyways, yeah, uh, it's not very difficult to spawn a, you know, artificial snow biome. It's quite easy. Yeah, as I said, you just need enough snow blocks. Uh, but artificial snow biomes have the same problem, where they, uh, they refuse to not have snow in them. And I've, I've, you know, done some googling and messing around with the files a bit to see if there's a way I can sort of mod the snow out of the game, maybe. Uh, but like, I don't, I never mod stuff, so uh, I honestly do not know how that could be done. So I think maybe we'll just have to live with it. There's one other thing though that I was thinking about uh, in order to make my base a bit colder, because in the previous episode we did discover, fuck's sake. Uh, we did discover obsidian blocks, and I thought those were really cool uh, because it would be very cool to have like a black tower, right? Uh, but of course, replacing the entire tower with uh, what were they? Yeah, obsidian blocks. That would sort of take a while. So I came up with a alternative, which is that you can see I have a couple of new items here. I have the paintbrush the paint roller and the paint scraper. You purchase these from the um, this moron. I don't know what his name is. The painter guy, Raphael. Uh, and you can also purchase paint from him. So if I wanted, I could uh, paint my tower black, which uh, would probably make it look a bit cooler. But this is sort of how I started with my little adventure to see if there was a way to change the background, because if I'm really going for this sort of evil tower look, <laughs> it would really be stupid to have these like happy green trees in the background. It really does sort of ruin the, uh, the effect a bit, doesn't it? So I don't know, I feel like either I have to accept the fact that the background is green and happy, or I have to accept that snow will fall through the walls and the roof. So I'm very torn on what to do here, to be honest. Um, so I don't know what to do. I guess 
you guys are interested, you can tell me in the comments. Of course, as of me up making this episode, I've only uploaded uh, episode 7, so <laughs> probably going to be a while until I can get some opinions on the topic, but, you know, it's still worth getting it out there. Uh, so, yeah. I think we're going to go underground and do some exploring, actually. Because also, I've been doing some other googling, and there's actually an item that's called something I can't remember, but that we really need. Uh, which allows you to combine certain items. But some of the items that I would like to combine, I've yet to acquire. So I need to do some more exploring in the cavern layer. Essentially just roam around with Spelunker potions and uh, see if I can find some of those cool items. I think we're going to do that while we wait for this blood moon to give up. Although I guess before we go, and can actually try and get the item that I'm talking about, which is this thing, the Tinkerer's Workshop. Which does indeed cost a bit, but... It is, as I said, going to allow you to combine certain items. I might actually have enough items right now to do some combinations. So let's pop this in the room of uh, weird crafting stations. Well, the second room of weird crafting stations. Uh, yes, we can indeed make a GPS, which uh, combines the effects of the clock, the depth meter, and the compass. So now you only need one item in your inventory instead of three, which just simplifies everything. So this is essentially what I want to do with some other items, but some of those items I've yet to acquire. I want to get a... well, I don't remember exactly the name. It's it's a lava thing? Lava necklace? I don't know. It's uh, going to be important to fight the, um, the wall of flesh down in the underground. So acquiring it would be useful indeed. Alright, let's go item. Oh, fuck, no, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't mean to drop it. I meant to... Consume it! There we are. So let's see if we have missed something cool. Having the game at a higher resolution would definitely help this. This is an underground house that I never actually think I'd uh, explore properly. Well, actually, this might have been you know, part of the area where I just sort of gave up going down initially. Is there even any chests here? Wow, really? Oh, no, never mind, there is. It's just an ice chest. Uh, the Ice Blade, okay, that's... I'm sure that's good if you're like early game, but at this point it's a bit not needed. Finally, there we go, there's a chest. With not exactly what I wanted. Although, these Hermes boots... Actually, that might be kind of awesome. Well, it's not like I'm not going to pick it up. Well, there's not a life art, but... <laughs> I actually found one of those previously as well, but... I didn't even bother showing it or picking it up even. That might be stupid, I don't know. There's a water chest that has a water or breathing reed. Might as well. Have I already checked this chest or... No, I haven't. Oh, another pair of Hermes boots. That's it's not bad, but you know, I already got that, so... Still, no, still not what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm starting to think I should have done this much earlier, because at this tinkering station we can combine our shoe spikes and uh, shoe claw, or no, climbing claws, into tiger climbing gear, which essentially allows us to do the same thing, as far as I understand it, but it only takes up one slot. We can also combine the Hermes boots and the rocket boots, like that, and uh, that allows us to... Allows flight. Yeah, I assume it's temporary though. Uh, essentially though, it, it combines the, the effect. So we can put those there. This also allows us to put the breathing reed in. Or not. That's not how this works. How do you... Oh, maybe you have to hold it. Okay, that makes it less cool then. Still! Uh, let's check our running speed. Oh, well, that's no different. Okay, but now we now we have this thing, rather than rocket boots, and my guy, yeah, that's... Uh, I don't think that's any different, though. Are we going in? Yeah, okay, so it just takes a while to sort of warm up. So now we can get some nice speed going. But still, I've not found the item I want, so back underground it is. See you there, little golden chest. No, still not what I want. Come on, are there no chests here? Well, I mean, there are chests here, but this is not what I want. Is this like a super rare item or something? Come on, I don't need more Hermes boots. Ah, <laughs> I think I must have found the trolliest uh, minecart track ever. 
You can see this like... Uh, God, let me see. Yeah. Well, fuck it. It's covered by the minimap. But yeah, you can see it up in the corner there. It literally just goes through this stream of lava. <laughs> and then it goes... Wow. It goes up from the lava again for a short while before it continues. Yeah, that's uh... I'm not sure how useful that uh, Minecraft track is. God damn it! <laughs> <I've> <laughs> not, I have like multiple versions of all of these items that are cool, but they're just not what I need! Huh. My search has actually brought me down to hell again. Uh, come on! Show mercy on me, Terraria! It's very much good fun finding these abandoned mine tracks, though. Oh, he seemed to have stumbled. Ooh, chest! We seem to have... wait, is this a... Yeah, we have actually sort of accidentally mined our way into the desert. No. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank you. Well, that's the first thing, the first positive thing the desert really has ever done for me. So, but... I don't, oh man, that's good. Yes, this is the thing I wanted. So what did I call it and what is it actually called? Okay, I called it a lava necklace or something like that. It's actually a lava charm. But now we have it. So, uh, now we can go back up to the surface. Yeah, as always, when I say I want to do something, I have a tendency not to do that. And uh, so I just decided, you know what, fuck it, let's just explore a tiny bit more. What did I find? Another fucking uh, lava charm. Yep, so here is what is up. We're going to go to our crafting table there, and we're going to make an obsidian skull. Then... We are going to go up to our Tinkerer's thing. We're going to combine the Obsidian Skull with the Water Walking Boots that we found ages ago at... Uh, well, I can't remember what which end of the world it was. East or West, doesn't matter. We're going to combine them and make Obsidian Walking Boots. Which provides the ability to walk on water and also immunity to fire blocks. Which is essentially also what the uh, Obsidian Skull does. So you can like walk on the meteorite and stuff like that. Then we're going to combine the Armored Lava Charm with the uh, Obsidian Walking Boots and get Lava Waders. Which is cool as fuck. Can I have both types of shoes on at once? Yeah, it kind of looks like I can, hilariously enough. Huh. Uh, we can actually... Actually, it was a good thing that I got the second uh, Lava Charm as well, because if we plop that on... Uh, oh wow, really? That's going to be on my screen all the time? See, that's a bit annoying. Oh, never mind. Okay. It just... Uh... Well, let me show you what it does. With these new items, we can walk on lava. How cool is that? Fuck off, you bitch. So, now that... If... Yeah, when we fight the... Um, you know, the final boss, the Wall of Flesh, we can, you know, more easily run away from him. Uh... I mean, of course, if you really want to make it easy, well, not necessarily easy, but easier, uh, you should make like a platform hybrid so that you can more easily run away. But I mean, I don't know how fast he walks, but we're able to traverse this uh, area pretty nicely now, especially with the boosted speed. You can just parkour, hardcore par. Well, this, the, these kinds of areas would cause an issue, wouldn't they? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Literally um, impossible to pass through without mining, but that's fine. Do, do you not see I'm showing off dank meme features? So, I don't know. Might still... Well, I mean, if... The, if oh. I guess we can sort of prepare a bit of a route to run away from the wall of flesh. Uh, but we don't need to build like an entire platform, I don't think. Also, I've changed the grappling hook's color to black through dye off-screen that, but uh, still, just thought I should mention it. But walking on lava is not the only thing. We can also swim in lava. So if we want to, we can sort of just say be... Yeah, we can just go lower way down here. So if there's some randomized dungeons down here, then we can get down there. Of course, we should probably teleport back before, <laughs> before we literally drown in lava, but still! Uh, this definitely makes us stronger than ever. Also, one addition I want to try to my tower is actually not an addition at all. It is deconstructing a couple of these wooden platforms, since we, strictly speaking, don't need them to get up and down. 
Uh, I just really wonder how this will sort of impact the look of the uh, tower. I don't know, I'll keep it like this for a while at least, just because it makes things easier. The main thing is that I can fall down much faster. That would be the primary advantage. Right, now I want to try and see what happens if I try to paint my base black. I mean, while we're at it. Oh shit! <laughs> you can, oh, okay, you can actually paint the things as well. That I do not intend to do. Although, actually, having the doors be black as well, that's not necessarily a bad idea. Same with the platforms. Hmm. I'm very, very torn on whether or not to keep this black color. God damn it. Sometimes I wish I recorded these uh, closer to the actual upload date so I can get some opinions. Anyways, let's check out the merchant that has arrived. And let's see what he got. He has little blah 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 blah, I don't give a shit. 50! Oh, okay, fuck me, I thought he said 50 gold. I was like, whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. It's a bit crazy, man. Because I don't know, if he's like the... the um Shadows and everything, like all the, the items you place in the building, they seem so... They seem a bit off, you know? Something about the lighting. However, it looks much more correct if we use some different lighting, it seems. See, if we use these demon torches, it looks better. Alright, yeah, <laughs> I decided that the purple lights were indeed what I was going to use. Uh, so yeah, I've gone ahead and painted the entire tower black and uh, done some furniture replacements and of course uh, replaced all the lights. This actually took quite a while, so it's actually now the day after from the uh, the last clip you guys saw in the video. Um, also, quickly before I show off the base, I just want to mention that I guess I, I got sick during the night. Um, I don't really know what kind of sickness I have, because this is honestly the first time I've been sick since I moved out, because I pretty much never get sick. <laughs> And usually when, when I lived at home, I was just like, Mom, what's going on? And she was like, well, let me check you. And she would tell me if I had a cold or if I had a whatever. Um, so I, I don't really know what kind of sickness I have. That's another problem about never being sick. Whenever you get sick, you're like trying to analyze your own symptoms. And you're like, well, I don't really know what this means. But point is, my voice be, might be a bit uh, weaker and a bit badder, I guess. My grammar is still as shitty as it ever has been though, so that's fine. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the Tower of Doom here. God, now of course since it's so long since, uh, well it's so long, it's a day since I recorded previously, so of course I try to remember here what is new and what is old. In general though, in general I've, uh, you know, had I've placed these purple torches everywhere. You can't actually make the purple chandeliers and the other types of purple light. So I actually had to go down into hell again and do some more exploring, uh, which I did. Uh, you can see that quite a large chunk of hell now has been explored. And uh, yeah, I went around in these houses here and I found a bunch of those lights and I put them on my building. I also decided to put some red lights in certain buildings, some blue lights and these green lights that I already had. Uh, I also painted the vast majority of the furniture grey just so that it stands out from the black, but, you know, it's not wood anymore, I guess. Um, I also finally got around to replacing, the, you know, the furniture in this room with some living furniture. So that sort of fits with the uh, druid, I feel, anyways. And, you know, we got some nice evil paintings, uh, evil stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, this is the base, you know. Pause the video if you want to look at some specific part. It's not super impressive though, of course I know that. It's more of a... Um, I don't know. I, I rarely plan, I guess. I just come up with dumb ideas. I'm like, I should change the look of my base and then I do this thing. Or I should build a, uh, a minecart road to the end of the map. And I'd sort of just do that without really thinking about how long that will take. Anyways though, there you can see some of the paint I have been using. But yeah, I think it's about time we go fight Skeletron. Uh, I've gotten ready with some Night Owl potion, some Swiftness potion, Iron Skin, Archery, Po, Po, I don't know how you pronounce that, but still. Silver Bullets, yeah, I think we're good to go. Uh, it is AM after midnight, right? That's what that stands for? I don't know. 
you uh, English speakers and your weird clock things. Because uh, I know you have to fight Skeletron at night. Uh, but I don't know, does he just automatically despawn if it becomes daytime? I'm not sure. Maybe I should wait until the next day. I don't know. Alright, we have arrived by the dungeon. Um, so we talk to this moron, I think. Curse. Yeah, click the curse button and he should uh, spawn Skeletron. But I really think night is going to end soon though, so actually, let's let's wait until the next day. I mean night. Alright, night time is very soon going to happen now, so let's start swipping around, swipping, swapping around some equipment. So we're going to put our helmet on to get that defense up. Um, I'm going to get a night owl potion. Well, I didn't do that much, but oh well. <laughs> uh, let's do an archery potion. Because I do want to see if I can use my glorious archery. Pop a iron skin. There you go, 33 defense. Uh, yeah, our slime buddy has already been spawned, and it's officially night time. I think. Yep, it's officially night time. Right, uh, potions are ready. Everything is ready. Let's go. Wah! Oh, he spawns in your face. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, so the arms have separate... Oh god, I want to get up. Oh, please let me... Yes! Alright, so his arms have separate... Um, what is this even called? Separate health bars. That's what it's called. I knew, what, I knew that. Shoot them! Oh god. It's not doing that, that much damage though. But uh, I'm noticing my strategy is a bit lacking. See if, see if the sword can be used for anything. Uh, am I doing damage? Yeah, I'm, I am. It's not that much though, so let's go back to the... Oh, never mind, it's the slime buddy who's barely doing damage. Shit, how do you even avoid those arms? There's nasty stuff. Ow, okay. So this is the fun part of playing a boss for the first time. You just don't know his patterns, right? What happens if you kill the head before you kill the arms? I don't even know if I should try that. Oh shit, okay, so the actual, it's only like the tip of the arms that actually do damage. So, oh, okay, you sneaky bugger. Doing fine though, uh, I don't know, like this seems a bit too easy to be honest. I fear that there are some uh, unforeseen things that will happen. Oh, damn son. Like. Because I've, I've seen pictures of the guy and this just seems a bit off. Might not be though. Come on, oh man, the damage. Oh shit. That would be my fault. Soon it's time for a potion. Alright, so you can, Okay, so arm is gone. Hopefully I'll simplify things. There you go, the other arm is gone. Now what will the head be up to? Kill it. Kill it with fire arrows. And bees. Oh man, 60 damage. Good stuff, man. He's not even doing anything. I don't know if it's my slime buddy who's distracting him, but he's getting fucking shot upon, man. Okay, uh, that was not that difficult. It really seems like, uh, of course, this is not. Uh, this is like the easiest difficulty possible, so I shouldn't talk too quickly. Uh, and things will get more difficult, the, or difficult, I understand it, once we defeat the Wall of Flesh and Hard mode is activated. Uh, but that was good fun, that was good fun. What do we get? We get nothing. Am I blind, or is there... What? Bruh! Items? No? No items? Oh shit, I accidentally brought all my money. That was not very smart of me, but not like the so it's not like this is the first time I've done that. Yeah, we didn't actually get anything from him. I guess maybe the loot will be found inside the dungeon? Because now we can go into it, as far as I understand. Uh, that's a bit disappointing though. The wiki said I was going to get some bones, and you can craft dank meme shit with that. Oh well. 
Alright, I've left my... well, left some of the stuff we got anyways. You know, the potions and stuff to get ready to loot the dungeon. Also, notice how my minecart is now black. Like the, uh, the darkness in my heart. <laughs> uh, or the darkness of my character's heart anyways. Uh, yeah, I just learned you can use dyes on that as well. So now we are truly the Lord of Evil. Alright, so now we can tear the dungeon apart. Does that apply to the whole thing? I can't seem to place torches. Oh, never mind, I can place torches. I guess I just placed them out of my range previously when I tried off-screen. Alright, let's check out the dungeon. I think we are, like, allowed to go in here now. So let's get some of that loot. Some of those banners. Diabolic Sigil. Sounds like something that would be fitting for a... Ooh. Oh, okay, so that's just a potion. It's not a, a cool decoration. I really like these... Um, which would you even call them? Yeah, these, these, these skeletons? These skulls, fuck me. I'd love to place them around my house. That would look cool. Alright then. Now, what I want to find is a key. Uh, that I can use on all the chests in... Um, in the underground or underworld. I'm an expert at forgetting names. Oh, chest. And it has a golden key, okay. Opens one gold or dungeon chest. So that's not what I wanted, but it does the trick. So I think there are like... Oh, okay, so now the dungeon starts for real, because now the music is different and stuff. Wait, I like these lamps though, can I have these lamps? Yeah, I can. Should probably be a bit careful about that though. Ha! <laughs> My slime buddy is literally just killing everyone. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. Uh, that's brilliant. Look at that! There was like four of these motherfuckers down here and the slime buddy has just slaughtered them. Can, can you kill this guy as well? Dark can't- wow, he barely had any health. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to go here before hell, so I guess I'm a bit over-armored maybe. I don't know. Alright, so there's a golden chest right here that I assume I can open, but... I only have one key. Like, is there is there an always going to be enough keys to open all the golden chests, or do I sort of have to pick at random here? How big would the dungeon even be? I do not know. So I'm a bit scared to open that before I know for sure. Now, do I take damage if I stand? Yep, I take that. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. You must stand. Ooh, you can pick them up. Now, I wonder, do mobs take damage from these? Because if they do, then it could be dank meme useful to uh, to get some of those and place them in uh, around uh, in and around my base. The cloth here has arrived, so now we can get a full suit. That's cool. So there's a cool room over here, and there is the way- Oh, what the ball sack is that? Blazing something something. That's cool though. But can I get into that room, or do I need to dig my way? Can I even dig these walls? Let's see. Yeah, I can. So there's no... That is no sin. It feels a bit like cheating though. <laughs> Just digging our way through this place. I don't know. Whoa! Flying skull. It didn't last long, though. <laughs> yes, I will have this pa I will have this painting. Goblins playing poker. I love it. Mm, sadly, it doesn't look like the uh, enemies take damage from walking on the spikes. So I guess I can't really use them for defense. Stand not a chance against me and my bee's knees. All right, we got ourselves another golden chest. Um, so I guess we'll have to, so this is the thing, like there, there are more, seems to be more key, or less keys than there are chests. So I don't know what chest to open. Lol, who dead? Oh, <gasps> mechanic! Oh, never mind, that's not as good as I thought it. Well, I'll still, you know, make you not bound. But I don't think we can buy the epic minecart from him, no. We can get booster tracks though, and that's pretty good. So that should allow us to make even better minecart tracks. Well, not well, not not straight up faster, but they should be. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, different type of chest. That you need a different type of. Yeah, I should Google this key situation. I need to learn what this is all about. Okay, I googled how to get the golden keys, and essentially you need to um, 
kill monsters, break pots, and just you find them at random, really. Uh, the only really issue here is that you can see I'm on the minecart track, and the reason is that I've, I've had to go home to pay, uh, to leave a bunch of those items I've I have found in the dungeon. Uh, the reason why you have not seen me finding said items in dungeon is that I forgot to record it. Because I uh, all tapped out to Google how to f get the golden keys, which you can see I have in my inventory right here. And then I forgot to start recording uh, when I got back into the game. Not only did I do that, I managed to realize I was not recording, go out, and then go back into the game and explain why I hadn't been recording. Even though I still was not fucking recording. So, don't worry, I'll show off the various items I have found in the dungeon at some point. Uh, so far, well, some of them have been a bit cool. None have been revolutionary, though. Um, I, for example, I've not found, like, a sword that is just clearly so much better than... You know, all the other things I have um, been using so far. But I've definitely found some cool shit, so hopefully now you guys can actually join me in this little adventure. And yes, there is indeed a Blood Moon going on right now. But, um... Uh, we are hardcore, and we will not let that stop us. Yeah, you can see I have already searched this chest. Um... But, you know, surely there will be more chests in here. Also, I did not figure out how to get that weird-looking chest that the, uh... The last clip before I started going full retard and forgetting to record uh, happened. This is the chest I'm talking about, if you were wondering. Alright, here we go. We got our first uh, new, new golden chest. And it contains a demonic Valar. Yeah, I've picked up a bunch of these items. I have yet to actually understand what they do. Maybe it's about time I test them out. I don't know. One of my favorite things so far are these doors. Green dungeon door. I love it. A goblin army is approaching! Uh, well, fuck that. <laughs> Ooh, a chest without uh, needing a key. Interesting. Uh, well, at least we have another key now, but I have like six of them at this point, so... I really... Uh, I need more chests to use them on, not more keys themselves. Oh, balls! <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. That was fine. It was no big deal after all. Ah, look at that! 200th angry bones already. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this dungeon. It's quite large though. I mean, I, I sort of expected it to be a bit smaller. Uh, it might be extra large for me, of course, just because I'm playing on a large world. I would, of course, assume so. Whoa! A spiky ball. Can I avoid it? Nope. I instead will jump right into it. Because I am skilled at the Terraria. Here we are. Another chest. Remove yourself. Let's see. We have... Ah! Shadow key. Very nice. That will let us do some dank meme looting in uh, hell. And this dungeon is really fucking huge. I mean, if we look on the map, you can see it's vast. We're really far down. Alright, what do we got here? This is... For fuck's sake. Yeah, for fuck's sake, man! Do you not see I'm YouTubing? It is... Oh, Bewitched. Okay, yep, that's fine. I think I already have one of those. So I'm not gonna bother picking it up. Did I show that? Yeah, I think that is recorded. Anyways, though, more importantly, we have a cool-ass chest right here. That requires a special kind of key. That looks very much like a lizard eye, and I've come to learn that... The temple that we found in the jungle... The, uh, yeah, well, this one, you can barely see it there, probably not. I, uh, I guess I can show you some other time while I'm not in a fucking dungeon. Um, I assume you'll get that key there? Uh, that's an... Wow, well, okay, so... Is that Santa? Ha! <laughs> okay, that looks like an ice chest, so... How come I have not found any of these? Oh god, we just ran out of torches. Well, it's not the end of the world, but... I don't mind having torches, you know. Um, yeah, uh, I've not really googled how to get those other types of uh, keys, but I assume the lizard one is gained in the lizard temple. And then maybe the other one is gained in the ice area? For f oh, God, I hate these things. God damn it. Destroy. Ugh. Let's see here. 
another shadow key. Well, I don't really need another one. It's sort of a shame that <laughs> she's like all I can find on camera is shadow keys. <laughs> I just got another golden key. Damn it! Can I have? Can I not have some golden keys? Can I have some torches instead? Because that would honestly be a bit more useful right now. It's another chest that gives me a golden key. Bone welder. Well, I already have one of those. Yeah, I guess I found a bunch of the things I would. Ooh, quick Nazar. What is that? Immunity to curse. Does being poisoned count as a curse? Because if not, I'm not super interested. We also found this ancient necro helmet. I think that's the second one, actually. But yeah, my inventory is full again, so I guess it's about time to head back. Oh yeah, that's right, goblin army, for fuck's sake. Ugh. But yeah, I think I'm going to show off some of the items I have just acquired. I don't know, maybe we can use this as an opportunity. Where did you come from? How did you spawn inside my base? That's not fair. I don't know, though. Well, uh, let, let's let's try some of these items we have acquired. Let's try this one first, since it's already in my inventory. Throwing... Oh, that's a yo-yo! Okay. Yeah, that, that can potentially be useful. I mean, I would like some more range, maybe, but... Eh, it's a thing. Alright, on the list of new cool things, we have our ancient necro helmet. Uh, which, ah, I question the coolness of that. Yeah, you go, Slime. You just kill that goblin army for me. <laughs> uh, we also have a handgun. Now, did I already buy that? No, I think mine was specifically like a revolver thing. Uh, not that much damage. I still think my musket is better, but it's, well, it shoots pretty darn fast. So that's definitely an advantage. So maybe this is actually quite good. Yeah, that was pretty awesome, actually. Alright, let's try out the magic missile. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so that that's definitely on the list of cool. Uh, very strong knockback, uses 10 mana. Casts a controllable missile. How do I control it, then? Oh, that is cool. So... Can we, like, control it down? Ah, oh, almost! Let's try that again. Let's control it down. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay, so we can just hold it. Ha! Yes, that's, that's lovely. Look at that. We can just, like, hey. <laughs> and, yep. Yeah. Now, that, that's cool. How extremely useful it is, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, anything that's cool is good, I guess. Then there's this one, the Adept Aqua Scepter. Uh, which does average knockback and damage and stuff. So it just sprays water. But it sprays it kind of fast, though. So, well... Well, the knockback is useful, I guess. Yeah, no, this, no, this is good. Well, I guess it's good that it goes through enemies. That's the useful thing. Cannot use it to fire through walls, though. So I do fear that it's not quite as useful as my Wildthorn. Uh, but I don't know, maybe boss battles where you need to like do a lot of damage in a small amount of time, it could potentially be useful. Right, so I've searched my chest to see if I can find some more of those um, new items we have gotten. We've already seen this magic stuff, but this sword we have not seen. So it's really just a shitty sword, it even says terrible Muramasa. But of course, I guess it can be better if we reforge it, but still though, 16 melee damage, um, that's not, I, I, I fear a reforging is really not going to do that, it's not going to improve that enough for it to be useful. However, we also have, well, I've run out of items that I found in the dungeon, but we do have some items I found. I have found elsewhere. We've got this boom, boomerang here that we found while searching for the lava walking necklace. Well, a necklace that would be a part of the recipe to make the lava walking boots, I mean. Then there's the ice blade that we also found during the same little exploration. So I guess it's cool in that it shoots ice. So it's like both a sword and a ranged weapon. Still though, it just does so little damage compared to my other sword. 17, it's just not really there. Maybe a reforging could improve it, I don't know. I guess early game, this would make for a wonderful weapon, because it is auto-swing. 
so it's not I'm not claiming it to be useless. But yeah, no, I think that's those are all the uh, well those are not not the those are not all of the new weapons, but those are all the, no, I mean yes, those are all the new weapons. Uh, but not all the new items, but yeah, after I'm done with this goblin animation, I'll show some of that off. I mean, I was hating on this uh, magic stuff here, but it is actually pretty cool. It's really just the fact that it shoots through foes. Uh, so it's really good in situations like these. So, what, like, what specifically, what damage does it do? It does 16, who knows? It's an adept. That's actually pretty good. So we can... Oh, well, well this, is, this is good for clearing out vast amounts of enemies, I guess. There we go, the goblin army has been defeated. Now we're going to check out some of the other ship we found. Alright, let's test out some of the non-combat items. First there is the uh, Bone Wand. Ooh, yes! We can play Skulls now! This I have wanted to do. So if we wanted, we can have like some random... Well, it's not... Uh, I guess they're supposed to be used as building blocks, which is not optimal, but it's cool to have like some Skulls here and there just lying around. <laughs> Um, what happens if I hammer them? Oh, well, that's a bit sad. <laughs> Not much then. Well, that's cool though, we can have like skulls lying around on the outside of our Tower of Evil. Also, yeah, one more combat item. There's the weak water bolt. So, this is a thing now. Uh, not overly interesting. Anyways though, let's take a look at the new crafting stations. Also, I now have epic looking doors in the uh, entrances to my tower. Uh, they're basically just the doors in the dungeon painted black. Then there is the alchemy table, which is really just the same as a bottle on a table, but it looks more fancy. And I think there's a chance that you can avoid using items when you craft a potion. So say you say you know you use mushrooms to um, uh, to craft a potion, and there's a 33% chance maybe I can't remember uh, that those mushrooms will not be used. Anyways, there is the honey thing. Uh, we might have already have gone over that. We got it in the fuck me previous episode. Yeah, previous episode. Uh, but you know, I, I'm not too interested in that. This though, uh, yeah, I've yet to completely understand what this is all about. Essentially, we can become bewitched, which increases the max number of minions. So if I wanted more minions, we can have that. Wait, does that mean I can have another slime body? Because that I would actually like. <gasps> yes! <gasps> oh shit, I thought it was three there. But that's still epic though! Two slime bodies! Okay, I'm a fan of this. Never mind, I love that. Also, we can now build a bone uh, stuff. Bone block wall. Okay, but I, I want to... I mean, this is cool and all, but I want to build... I, I just want, like, skeletons. I don't want furniture. I just want, like, random skeletons lying outside. Warning uh, potential invaders that this tower is not um, not a place you should arrive at. Let's just put it that way. Oh well, still interesting, I guess. Uh, also, we have some new NPCs. We of course rescued the mechanic Ella, which uh, yeah, we'll, 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 no, did we see this? Fuck, I might actually have rescued her off screen. See, this is the problem. I do not remember what is what is in the video and what is not because I have yet to edit it. Point, uh, regardless though, we found the mechanic hiding out in the dungeon, and uh, we quote unquote rescued her, and now we can play around with wires and stuff like that. And I'll have to do some serious googling before I venture out to do that, but still, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, other new NPC is Nigel, which I think is basically the same guy that we used to spawn Skeletron, only he's no longer evil or curse or something, I don't know. Uh, oh, he's the clothier! I understand. So we can get a familiar shirt, a familiar pants, familiar wig. Black thread. Uh, yeah, this is used for crafting, so you can like craft certain clothes. I think it, yeah, you combine black thread with silk, I think, and you can make the suit. Uh, I'll save that for some other time though. I can't really be bothered right now to be honest. So that's a thing. He now lives in this really evil room. Might not be super fitting, but I've run out of space again. So no, no, I don't. So yeah, you can you can go down here actually. And well, this is still an evil room. 
most of the rooms in this castle tower is uh, are quote unquote evil at this point, but I don't know. Still. All right, uh, but I think we'll end this episode right here. Uh, sorry for this episode being quite long, but uh, oh well. Hopefully, someone found that an interesting. Uh, yeah. So that's one reason to quit. I also need to stop because I'm noticing I'm getting just worse and worse when it comes to the sickness. I need to Google how to not be sick <laughs> and to figure out that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll be off to Google. But uh, other than that, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.